My name is Gary Winterton. I am running for the City Council in District 1. It's been a great privilege for me to serve for the last four years, and I'm excited to, try to try to continue my service. Um, we have the potential of five new council members, and with the two that are not up for election, that gives us a combined experience level of four years. And I think it's critical that um, we have some carry forward, that we understand it takes a great deal of effort to understand where the city has been, where we're going, and what we hope to do. And I look forward to being part of that process as we go forward. We have so many great, many great things that are going on. Our temple is being dedicated. We have a million people coming downtown, and we need to take advantage of that. We need to develop, have a development plan for the west side. We have so many changes. We want to make sure that those changes are happening the way the people of Provo want it to happen. And I look forward to serving more for the next four years also and being part of that. I am very supportive of the 2030 vision document. I was on the planning commission and had a, the opportunity to participate in the approval of that document. It gives us a vision of where we would like to go as a city. Now we know that we can't afford everything that is in that document, but as opportunities for funding come available, it gives us a chance to prioritize and to reach the goals that the citizens wanted. I understand that there's always changes that need to take place. And as we review that document periodically, we need to adapt to opportunities and where we can and can't make those those improvements that we're looking for. And yet, it gives us the vision of where we hope to go. And I think that's critical for Provo to have that vision so that when opportunities present themselves, we're able to take advantage. My ideal relationship is that we need to work together. Um, I am so grateful for Mayor Curtis for the things that he's been able to do over the last six years as the mayor of our city. And I think if we work together, we're not always going to agree, agree. Someone told me at one time, the ideal number for the city council is four. That's the magical number. Well, I think magic would be seven, where we're always communicating. We're never going to completely agree, but I think it's important that we communicate, that we understand where, what is important to the administration and also important to the city council. And I believe that through communication, and working together, not against each other, struggling for who says what. I think that if we can work together, we're gonna to have a much better product. It's like a, it's like a marriage. We all have the same goal. We all want what's best for our community. And if we can work together and communicate, it'll be best. Okay. One of the things that I'd like to focus on is our opportunities for retail. Residents need to realize that as a, as a city, we don't have complete control of who wants to come to Provo and who doesn't. What we try to do as a city is present the best opportunity and make Provo look good so that retailers will want to come to our city. And we are making progress in that area. That's one of the things that I would like to focus on. I'd also like to focus on um, the quality of life. We, ha we have a wonderful place to live and our infrastructure is good. It's very good. You look at the quality of water and the things that we've got here in our city, we are really blessed and live in a great community. But we want to make sure that that is maintained. And there's some challenges that come over the years. We in Provo City have not had a property tax increase in t over 20 years. And we're struggling with making sure that the quality of life that we have is maintained and it's not inexpensive. And so we're looking forward to making sure that the residents are getting a great deal for the taxes and the fees that they pay. And that's something that I think is critical that I want to work on also, is the sustainability of the wonderful things that we have. Opportunities for the west side growth. Growth is our biggest challenge in Provo. And I look forward to being involved in the conversations that will help us to have the type of growth that we want and be able to um, plan for our future that, that will help us get what we want. I 
support the rap tax. I think it's an opportunity for us to, um, again, sustain the quality of life that we have. Our residents are very proud of the recreation and the arts and the, uh, the things that we support through this rap tax. And I think one-tenth of one percent is not something that is out of line to ask the residents to help maintain some of the great things that we've got here. I look forward to taking that money and using it mostly for capital maintenance. But if we don't use that money for the capital maintenance, we will never have the opportunity to look to future also. I think that this is something that will give us an opportunity to look to parks that have been promised to certain residents for many, many years. And if we can get this RAP tax approved, it will give us an income stream that will help us to um, build future and also maintain the present. One of the challenges that we have, I've been had the opportunity to be on that budget committee, and our intent statements are important, but I think one of the challenges that we face is that government, in my mind, is not always the same as the private sector. And the intent of the government and the intent of our budget intent statements is to give the community the things that they want at the best value that they can get. And so as we look to um, increase taxes, we want to make sure that the residents feel comfortable, that they understand where those things are going, that they're paying for what they do, that we do what we can to pay as you go rather than have to bond. There are certain things that we do have to bond for, and I understand that because many residents don't want to have to pay twice for the same thing. But on the other hand, if we can bond for the things that we have to bond for, and yet do what we can to pay as you go, that is what the intent statements are set up for. We want to make sure that um, we don't want to have to subsidize everything in our community. We don't believe in subsidies as a community. We believe that we should pay as we go. And yet there are certain functions of the government which our residents expect. And that needs to be paid for by the government. We need to be able to have the funding to be able to do that. We look at our beautiful recreation center and we wanna make sure that we can maintain that and keep it where it needs to be so that we have the opportunity to use that for many, many years. And so if we use these intent statements to say, we wanna make sure that it's kept in a quality state for as long as possible, that's what the intent statements are for. I am grateful for the opportunity, like I said. I've been a resident of, all my, of Provo all my life. I'm a business owner here in Provo. I am proud to, be a, to live in Provo, to be a resident of Provo. I look forward to the great things that we're doing, and we do have many wonderful things that are happening, and I want to be a part of it and give back to the community for the blessings that I have received, the opportunities that I've been given to be in Provo. We have many great things going, and I just want to be part of it and participate and do all I can to give back to this community.